Now we're still tracking, so let's head to the central region now, where some fishermen at Elmina are disputing the claims by the president that his administration has given 1,300 outboard motors to fishermen at subsidized prices, according to them. Now, the outboard motors were not given uh, to fishermen, but NPP party members uh, who are not fishermen, according to them. Such party folk who uh, benefited from the outboard motors, according to the fishermen, are selling them to the fishermen at exorbitant prices. John Quayson spoke for the fishermen at the news conference in Elmina. Why am Coco eleven? And can you allow what you party for a MP before? No, what you might have a phone. John Quaysen began mentioning the names of fishermen who the outboard boaters were sold to by the alleged MPP party faithful. 245. John Quaysen, popularly called Manoma, indicated at a news conference held in a canoe at Elmina, the fishermen that were supposed to be beneficiaries of the outboard motors did not get some of the machines, but rather MPP party supporters. He says such persons are selling the outboard motors to the fishermen at exorbitant prices. They said they brought 50 of the outboard motors to the whole of KE. Elmina, in particular, got 40 outboard motors. Out of the 40, only 11 fishermen benefited. The rest, who got another fishermen. Where they held the handing over ceremony, they left 10 and they brought a Kia truck to take them away. They also used a tricycle to carry the others away in the evening. This government mentioned the names of only four people and later carried the rest of the machines away. Some party supporters who are not fishermen began selling their outboard motors to us. The government sold to us at 10,000. Selling it to us at a cost of 15,000. I'm throwing a challenge to you, the media, to find out the truth. I've mentioned even six of the fishermen who these outboard motors were sold to. Richard Kwejenya Akon, Joy News, Elmina. Hmm. Now, Richard Kojinyaku joins us now on Zoom for a bit more on this. Uh, Kojo, first, let's set the scene. Uh, outboard motors, we often hear of them being distributed to fishermen. Explain to us why the fishermen rely so heavily on government support and how important these 1,500 outboard motors were to the fishermen of Elmina. I think you might have to unmute your um, your feed so we can hear you. Hello, there is you that are. okay? Yes, much better now, Kojo. Okay, so Kojo, the Albert Motors are like uh, the vehicles that we use on the road. So let, let's take the sea as the road we use. So the Albert Motors propel the fishermen to move faster on the sea. And so they put in permit fuel to enable them to uh, go for their fishing expedition. And so these fishermen rely on the outboard motors. Now, over the years, government has been buying these outboard motors in whole, and they give them to the fishermen at a subsidized price. And so um, about a month ago, the fisheries uh, minister uh, came to Elmina and other parts of the coastal belt distributing these outboard motors to the fisher folk. At Almina, where we were present, um, the minister mentioned some of the names, but because for want of time, they mentioned a few names of the fishermen, and then they gave the outboard motors too. So later, we are finding out from um, um, at the news conference that these outboard motors did not really go to those who plied the, their trade on sea or the fishermen. And they went to some MPP supporters who are selling these outboard motors to the fishermen who were looking for these outboard motors to work with. The government sold to them at 10,000 Ghana CDs. That was the subsidized price. So those who are selling to them, they some add 4,000 to it, making 14,000. Some add 15,000, making 15,000. At the news conference, they mentioned the names of these 
uh, fishermen or these vessels that the Agbot motors were sold to, and then they told us to go and then confront these people because they have come to them. And some are saying that they are not even going to pay the extra ones they are adding onto. They gave us numbers, and then some of the numbers we called the, I mean, we, we pretended that um, we, we didn't know, and so we we're looking for some of the outboard motors to them. I called two of them, and the two of them said that, well, they were selling it to them at 15,000 they are adding, and one told me that he was not going to pay the additional 5,000 that had been put on, but we were not made known who exactly sold the outboard motor to that particular fisherman we spoke to. So we are yet to identify the individuals who are selling the outboard motors. Exactly, because the, the outboard motors are not meant to be sold. They are meant to be given to fisher folks, those who have canoes, and that the canoe to use them in their fishing expedition or for their fishing business. So following the, the ceremony where the fisheries minister named four fisher folk, um, uh, who is the responsible officer of government who was in charge of distributing the rest of the outboard motors? So could you, at the, at the ceremony that, um, that uh, saw the handing over of these machines to the fishermen, uh, the fisheries minister was there, the executive director of the fisheries commission, Mr. Adavazu, was there, as well as other people. But in the region, they have a premix coordinator. But as to who specifically handed the rest over to the fishermen, we are yet to know. Because, you know, in those ceremonies, if Elmina benefited from 50, they, sometimes they are unable to mention all the 50 there, but the claims by these fishermen is that in the night, they used some trucks to carry the rest of them away, which we do not know the destination in which these um, um, outboard motors were sent. We are yet to find out who really is in possession of these outboard motors and where exactly these outboard motors also went. But a present at the ceremony was the chief fisherman or the, or, of Elmina, Ejabedu. We are yet to contact Ejabedu, whether he was made responsible for the distribution of the rest of the outboard motors that were left. Right. So these are very valuable pieces of equipment. Um, even at a subsidized price, they are being sold for about 10,000 Ghana cities each. Very valuable. Yes. But now they are missing. And the reporting lines of accountability also seem to be missing because we're not yet able to identify the person who was left in charge of these valuable pieces of equipment. Well, well so now we cannot say whether they are missing because uh, during the ceremony we were being made aware that these outboard motors belong to the fishermen and um, they said that there is a procedure um, under which these fishermen would procure some of these outboard motors. They have to pay at a certain place to the bank and then processes have to be followed in order to be given. So now we are unable to say specifically these whether these outboard motors are missing. The allegations right. these fishermen are making is that the, the outboard motors have found their ways to some party folks who are then selling them to the rightful fishermen who are supposed to benefit from these outboard motors. So we can't account for them. We don't know who has them in, in their custody. We don't know who is responsible for them, how many are left, how many have been distributed. We can't account for them. Well, certainly we, 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 can, we, can, we can say that, but um, for at this ceremony, they said that, well, they have accounted for all of them because they went to the fishermen. So if we say we cannot account for them, then it means that uh, they have found their way to some places where we, I mean, the claims by the, by the fisheries minister or something would be false. Right. Okay. Um, well, we know you're going to keep your eye on this matter and get us more information as it comes. Richard Kojunyako, thank you very much uh, for that.